Hi YouTube, welcome to the van list. It's finally out. I'm excited because I have no idea what's on here, but I'm probably gonna get disappointed just like the past two ban lists. But maybe, maybe we can have something of decency. I have no idea what's on here. No spoilers. I just refreshed the page when I got home and then bam, updated 925.14. So without further ado, here we go. Now, please, please have. Okay, so monsters, nothing. Oh, wow. Shock. Oh, Trish is still banned. God dang it. Seriously, kids? <sighs> so, Trish isn't didn't come back, unfortunately, so that sucks. Come on, Soul Charge. Let's just put Soul Charge on here. That's all I care about. And Soul Charge isn't banned. Beautiful. And, wow, nothing's banned. Come on. Like, you know, whatever. Okay, limited. Nothing. Okay. So we have... Ah! Glow Up Bulb! God dang it! Seriously? Of course. The one card I don't own. So this card's probably at like 50 right now. Oh, God. Glow Up Bulb, the one? Really? I don't really see the point. Okay, Infernity Archfiend, I did call that. They always kill the deck that wins worlds. Every single time, no matter what. They kill the deck that wins worlds. So people are saying they're not going to put Archfiend in one? Yeah, they always kill the deck that wins worlds. But Glow Up Bulb, god dang it. Why did I... Just think, if I was home when this first came out, I'd be able to pick up these up for like $10. They're probably going for like 60 right now. Like, seriously. I mean, maybe it's getting reprinted in 5Ds, or or maybe it's, or I don't know. It could be getting reprinted in Legendary Collection 5Ds is like another card, but uh, that sucks. And that is it. Come on. I'm so sick of these tiny band lists. Like, seriously, two cards? Okay, just have Soul Charge on the Limited. I'll be happy. Come on. Was for right what? Right Geki, right Geki. Okay, right Geki to one. I'm, I'm not gonna complain. I have right Geki, but really, right Geki? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who sold that one? Right Geki. Okay. I mean, it's not like Dark Cole's doing that much right now anyway. But still, right Geki to one. That's just random. Okay then. I mean, I'm not going to complain, I, I own one, I have some from Battle Pack, and I think I have some from Legend of Blue Eyes, but whatever, Raigeki to one. Now please, for the love of God, have Soul Charge on here, please, I'll be your best friend, Kunami. Yes! Thank you! Oh my god! Thank you, that's all I care about, thank the Lord, thank, so finally, there is hope in this world, there is hope in this world, because of Soul Charge coming back to one, there is literally hope in this cruel world. But, ah, oh, thank the lord for that one. Seriously. Like, ah, uh, I swear, if Soul Charge wasn't on here, I was literally, I think I would literally, like, throw this headset out, out the window or something, but I don't know. So, Raigeki, that was a shocker. I don't know if anyone saw that one coming. Same thing with Global, but I don't know if any, like, no one had that on their list. Absolutely no one. Okay, going on to, ooh, we got, yeah, Super Poly, nice. So, finally, they're going to want to hit... This card is, you know, crazy in shit alls, so finally they're going to hit shit alls a little bit, so thank you for putting that to one. And for traps, nothing beautiful. So, uh, not that bad for limiteds. I mean, I could I would have liked to seen Mathematician, but uh, I'm, I'm glad that they are hurting Infernities with putting Archfina one. Like, thank you. Thank you for that. And, yeah, so going on to semi-limited, we got Gale and Gores. Beautiful. So, Gores to two. So, I mean, Gores is at 2 in the OCG, I think, so it doesn't really matter, and Gale, that's not going to do anything. Going on to the other stuff, Ceasefire and the Trans... Okay, I, I just talked about this in the previous video, I literally just, just talked about that in my previous dual video, uh, how the Transmigration Prophecy sh should not be at 1, so that's awesome. Gores, I really don't care, Gale, I really don't care, no one's playing Gores. And then Ceasefire... I mean, whoop de doo that just, I mean, I don't really see the point, it promotes burn, and I thought Konami was not trying to promote that stuff, but, I mean, whoop de doo and no one longer on the list, let's go, I don't, I don't know, should I have a drum roll or what, <laughs> no, what, let's just do it, ah, uh, really, Rota to three, wolf bark, god dang, no, no I, I, I just don't agree with this, formula synchron, yay, but fishborg isn't legal, so, who cares, magician of faith, I don't care, Wolf Bark, I don't know. I personally feel it could have stayed at one. It could, it, it could have. I don't. I don't think it was time for Wolf Bark to come back. Whatever though. And then Rhoda, like really, like, they they were just really screaming to Teller Knights. I mean, and they didn't have Tour Guide to Two on here. Like I think they should have at least put Tour Guide to Two. 
but I mean whatever that's Konami for you so I do gotta admit this was definitely a better list than the ones we have had I mean obviously Soul Charge to one thank the Lord thank the Lord no artifact more talk or sanctum that's kind of surprising I I would at least thought they would have more talk on here like I don't know why but I mean whatever that's all I gotta say let's let's see five minute video so from this list it is definitely really, really Kunami-ish. It's I'm not gonna lie, like the freaking Glow Bulb and Raigeki to one, like that's just what you guys call Kunami-ish right there. And of course they're not gonna put more talk or mathematician or two or guide to two. Or they, they probably they should have put more talk to one. Like the whole artifact just thing like just gets annoying, but I mean whatever. Um and by the way they didn't ban the the one card that stops pendulums, the anti spell fragment, so they didn't ban that, so I guess they're not worried about pendulums getting stopped with that card, but whatever, that's all I gotta say. Pretty interesting stuff. I mean, uh, I just, I really, like, kinda don't agree with the whole, let me see, the whole global bulb coming back to one. I kinda feel that that was, like, unneeded unless they're trying to promote something, but I mean, whatever. It's not horrible, it's not. Perfect. I mean, obviously, we're probably never going to get, you know, a perfect ban list again, but it's, you know, pretty interesting and whatever. So that's my two cents on this ban list. I'll definitely have more videos, probably a live stream this weekend, maybe, just like I did for the last, you know, ban list when I hit a thousand subscribers. So maybe do that and uh, stay tuned for more videos. That's all I got to say. So this is Stu Dog signing out. Thank you guys for watching.